So in this video, we're gonna take a close look at the Jacoki wooden painting handle. So to get the best result on the tabletop mini or the bust that you're painting, it takes a steady hand, but also easily be able to hold onto the model without getting tons of fingerprints all over it. But when it gets to the point of needing something a bit more substantial than a cork with a bit of wire on it, you're gonna need a painting handle. And there's a number on the market to choose from. Now, one of the main aims here at Flying Raven Studios is to check out the kit that is out there, cut through all the fluff, cut through all the marketing to give you the best information so you can choose the best bit of kit that is right for you. Now, the Chikoki wooden handle is not the cheapest one on the market. So is it any good and is it worth the money? Now, I bought this handle myself uh, a little while ago now and you will have seen me using it on a variety of videos. So I've given it a really good testing. And to be honest with you, it kind of surprised me. So when you open the box, it comes with the detachable metal handle, the main painting handle itself, four caps, and a lump of tack. Now this painting handle is advertised as being handmade out of black walnut and it comes with a detachable hand rest, which then inserts into these two little holes here. Especially the first time you use it, it may need a little bit of gentle persuasion to get it in. When it's in, and therefore when it's in, it's like so. In the center of the handle, you have a strong magnet on this side, and, and on the reverse of each cap, you've got a metal plate here. So it simply snaps in place like that. Now what's quite handy is that the magnet is on this side, because then if you have any other metal parts that you want to stick to it, it sticks straight to the handle. Now with painting handles, there's generally two types. There's the one which has a mechanical system to hold the mini to the handle. And this could be either a, a twist nut or a spring mechanism. The other uses a reusable putty, which is basically like post attack. Now this one uses the putty option and it comes with a slab, a small slab ready to use straight out of the box. And you use it same as any other sort of post attack, give it a good knead and it sticks onto the top there like so, okay, and a small, only, you only need a small amount, and then you very carefully just put your stick your mini onto the top of that, and then it just snaps in place like that. Now the idea of this is it's really handy because you can then swap it out and then put another one on really, really easily. So let's have a look at some more detail, and we're gonna look at the pros and the cons that I found using this painting handle. So to be fair, let's start with the cons. What didn't I like? Now, first of all, is the cost. Now, at time of filming, this is priced at £15.99, which is about $20 US. Now, that is on par, if not slightly more than some of its competitors, but that's not the end of the story just yet. The photos online made it look like it had been really nicely varnished, yet initially I was disappointed it kind of felt more like a wood stain rather than a varnish. Now, the magnetic caps are really handy, but in the standard set, there's only four. Now, which to be fair, is all I've needed so far. If you're doing a large squad of tabletop miniatures, you have to do in small batches. Then again, that does help you finish that batch without losing the will to live. Okay, so onto the pros. So what did I like about it? By no means the most important, but even though it's not varnished, wood is, is just pretty. It's, it's a nice thing to look at. Now, one benefit of the unvarnished wood is that it's essentially non-slip. It is, it's really easy to handle and easy to kind of manipulate, manipulate. And it's really easy to manipulate in your hand. Now it does come with the detachable finger rest, and that is really quite handy. Now the best way I found to use it is to rest your ring finger in the groove like that, and then it gives you a really nice stable position to do, do your painting. Now because the caps spin on a magnet, you have a full 360 degrees of movement to go around the entire thing without even moving your painting hand. Whilst they are very easy to move, there is still some resistance there, so therefore you're not kind of chasing it around, or so you're not dealing with a model that would keep spinning around. These magnetic caps are really easy to swap out. You can take it off really easy like that. But what also I quite like is that when the model is attached to the base like that, you can put it down and it acts like a drying stand as well. So you can sit it on your worktop whilst you work on something else. Another feature with these is that each of the discs have a little hole drilled in the center of it. That makes it really easy to fit sub-assemblies onto the painting handle that aren't actually on a base, whether that be on a wire or by using the, the tack to put a shield, for example, onto the handle and then it allows you to paint really, really easily. So whilst I've not experienced it, some friends of mine have commented that the painting handles, which they have, use a mechanism to attach the mini to the handle. Now this mechanism can get clogged up if you're using a rattle can or an airbrush, for example. But on this, 
there's no mechanism to get clogged up with paint, so that's not gonna be an issue for you. So the Jokoki wooden painting handle comes in two different types. There's the standard version, which is this one, which has a shorter base and has four of these. Now, the second is the two-in-one, which has a longer handle and comes with six caps, which at the time of filming is 19.99 in sterling, which is 26, I think, in US dollars. But is it worth it? Well, on a personal note, I really enjoy using this. It's a really nice to handle to use. I like the versatility. I like how you can change it out really nice and easily. Um, it's, it feels nice in the hand. It's kind of nice and light. I can manipulate the model wherever I want it to be and I can put it down and it's nice and safe and secure. So if that ticks all the boxes for you and you'd like to get hold of one yourself, then there's a link down in the description. If you like that, if you found that useful, please bash that like button and share it across your social media. And I'll see you for the next project.